Good morning, I'm Teacher Rose, and welcome to the second quarter of Contemporary Philippine Arts from the Regions. For our most essential learning competencies, it is to critics available materials and appropriate techniques. For our review, so contemporary artists have been the pioneers in, in introducing new forms of art to the world. Different art forms have been combined or newer ideas employed to bring up newer types of art. It could be a public mood and, and it could be an effect of being resourceful of any artist. So before we proceed to the content of our lesson, let us look at the different features of art from traditional art to modern art up to contemporary art. Traditional art aims to represent a reality or realism through narrative that can be seen or reflected in painting. Modern art aims to throw aside the tradition of the past and experiment with new ways of seeing and with press ideas about the nature of materials and functions of art. While contemporary art is much more focused on social or society focus, they usually reflect or comment on modern society using new techniques and materials, such as videos or technology. Contemporary art can be completely new or influenced by past artworks or artists. So what's new? The art and crop making can be defined as an occupation or trade which involves manual dexterity and skilled artistry. The significant advent for the crafts was art and crop movement which flourished in the late 19th and early 20th century. For today's lesson, we're going to discuss art criticism and the four basic steps in critiquing and evaluating an artwork. So what is art criticism? So art criticism is the discussion or evaluation of visual art. Art critics usually criticize art in the context of aesthetic or the theory of beauty, according to Wikipedia. So for Britannica naman, art criticism is the analysis and evaluation of works of art. So art criticism is analyzing and evaluating work of art. Art as, uh, as art critics, when we look at a painting, sculpture, or other form of art, we don't approach it as something that we like or dislike. We view it as a in a as in a business like way. For example, does the artwork represent a particular era, movement or style? Now in approaching art criticism, just think of yourself as a detective. In other words, what makes art art? So in this lesson, you will learn about the four step of art critics follow in the process of critiquing a work of art. You can choose a painting or artistic photograph to work with and tell yourself through this step. So the four basic step in critiquing and evaluating an art. So number one, look at the obvious. Number two, analyze the artwork. Number three, decide on an interpretation. And number four, make a judgment call. Okay, so let's proceed. Number one step. 
So look at the obvious. In the course of our daily life, you'll most likely have to provide others with some general information about yourself. So when critiquing an artist, you'll be looking for the same type of information about the artist. So ano ba yung mga information na ibinibigay nyo? Oh, when you're uh, uh, the information about yourself, sempre na rin yung name, address, or the school. So, sabi nga natin, when critiquing an artist, you'll be looking for the same type of information about the artist. For example, what's the name of the piece? What's the name of the artist? What country was he or she from? What medium did the artist use? Such as paint, clay, film, or other type of material. Number two, four. Next, you have to describe the piece of art in terms of its subject, matter, color, and style. For example, if you are looking at a painting, do you see a people, a landscape, or an object? Let's say you see a woman. Is she smiling? Is she frowning? What is she wearing? Is she doing anything? Next is you need to check the color palette, which is the spectrum of colors used by the artist. Sometimes you can tell from the color during which century the piece was created. Do you see pastels? Or do you see bright colors? Maybe you see more muted tones. Next is look at the style. So style refers to a particular type of movement such as nerd, art nouveau or cubism. If the woman is very realistic, you may want to know uh, to look at periods prior to its uh, generation or year it created. Next, number three. Decide on an interpretation. So now that you've examined the artwork, what does it all mean? So Jan Q Public would like to hear what you think is going on in the painting. Sometimes your interpretation may be more straightforward. Other times she'll be calling Jan's attention to a hidden meaning. For instance, Salvador Dali, the surrealist painter, specialized in hidden meaning, which stem from sexual trauma to science and religion. You can take a look at and the one of his work, The Persistence of Memory. Number four, make a judgment call. Last but not the least, an art critic needs to make a judgment call. For example, what did you think of the artwork? In this step, you have to go beyond, I like it, I love it, or even I hate it. In making your judgment call, you need to ask yourself if the work is or was successful for instance did it convey the message the artist intended was the composition color and line quality successful in art criticism judgment is never personal it is about interpreting the art and whether the art communicates a message to the audience and those are the four basic step in critiquing an artwork for the summary of our lesson so art criticism is analyzing and evaluating an artwork as an art critics we don't approach our art as something that we like or dislike 
So art criticism involves four basic steps. Look at the obvious that provide the general information of the artist. Analyze the work which describe the piece of art in terms of subject matter, color, and style. And decide on our interpre interpretation by examining the artwork and make a judgment call by asking yourself if the artwork if the work is successful okay so i'm teacher rose again i'm teacher rose and saying share love to everybody be a blessing to everyone thank you